horses. I got a fractured collarbone. I got bruising on my, or I got sore ribs. Doesn't look like I'll be driving anytime soon. I'm still alive, I'm still here. Thank you to everyone out there. I'm okay. Bumped and bruised and sore, but I live to stand another day. Since the recent event that happened on the first day of the, of the police integration on Friday, we know that some people have been injured, same if the Ottawa police have said the opposite. Candice, a First Nation woman who was holding the line at the first place, got hit by the horse of the Monty police and I've been injured and I came here today to learn about her story, how she felt at this moment and what she has to say to us about it. Here comes the horses. Oh my goodness! Look what you did! Look what you did to her! Look what you did to her! Look what you did to her! You trampled on the lady who is unaccessible! Shame on you! Shame on every one of you! Shame on you! I'm Candace Zero from Tandanaga Mohawk Territory. It's about two hours, two and a half hours southwest of here. I know that you were on the front line when all happened. What was your emotion when you saw the horse coming? <laughs> Hold the line. That's what I tried anyway. <laughs> and you did. <laughs> <laughs> After they trampled me, uh, there was a officer that I think a couple of them kicked me. Uh, I got a big bruise on the back of my thigh. Oh. And another one dragged me by my coat off the premises. But I walked right on by enemy lines and walked back into safety because outside of our circle, it didn't feel safe. When I was back in with the convoy, I felt safe. So when that happened and you were in the ground, no officer showed you some help or anything? No, they were all showing me anger and aggression. So nobody helped you? Well, he aggressively helped me out of the area and was told to leave and don't come back, or if I come back, I would be arrested. The ambulance came, took me to the hospital, and there was only one doctor on. They sent me in for an x-ray. It wasn't a very good stay at that hospital, but it wasn't their fault either, because there's no doctors or nurses to fill these hospitals to help people that are hurt. I have bruising on the back of my leg. I got a fractured collarbone. I got bruising on my, or I got sore ribs. Doesn't look like I'll be driving anytime soon. I'm still alive, I'm still here. Thank you to everyone out there. I'm okay. Bumped and bruised and sore, but I live to stand another day.
why it was important for you to stand up same if you had some difficulty to work i think you have like some something for a handle why it was important for you to be there and stand in the front line trying to open up their eyes we we're doing this for them their children their mothers and fathers there are mothers and fathers in nursing homes dying by themselves why you know how many people that i've seen in these last two weeks that said thank you thank you for stepping up and out of all those elders they were there was a lot of elders that cried on my shoulder because they were so happy to have a human contact because they've been deprived for these last two years. I had kids coming up thanking me and hugging me. I just want to play with my friends, teenage boys. I want to play sports. I want to play hockey. I want to play baseball. Ottawa police have specified on their page that nobody yesterday had been injured. What do you have to reply to the Ottawa police? <laughs> That's bullshit. Where did that other guy go? The other guy that really got stompled by the horses. Where did he go? I had the sense to get up on my own cord. But where did that guy go? Nobody has found that. Where did that guy go? Shoved under the rug? I did not get shoved under the rug. I am here. When we know that Justin Trudeau say that so much good thing about the First Nation, but when we look at what the people live, as you yesterday being treated like that, what is your thought? How can, a, how can we have trust in a prime minister that doesn't come and speak to the people? In, in, a, in a society like ours, that these atrocities continue and our people continue to get hurt as we step up. And many people can also be hunted down through, if you look back in our history. And, it, and it's a sad reality that these are the types of injustices that are being procured upon our people. And it doesn't matter if you're innocent or not, you're still dragged off and put to the side and left to fend for yourself. Are you scared for your life at the moment you get hit? No. What was your emotion? anger. There's plenty of people back home that are angry for what they did. Not just to me, to everybody that this happened to. I'm sad. for it had to happen that way. So you were able to hurt it yourself, that the woman had been injured that day. So we are on the ground here in Ottawa, trying to show you the reality of what happened on the ground and telling you the other side of the story. It's really important because we are the only media outlet. Always be there on the field, showing you the truth and what is happening. So share it widely, and I hope you enjoy it. Was Alexa for Ruben News in Ottawa. 
So me and my colleague all across Canada, we are covering the Freedom Convoy in Alberta, Calgary, here, a little bit everywhere. And if you want to see all our report, please go to convoyreport.com. And in this website, you can as well donate to help us with our travel expense and our journalism. Thank you for donating generously.